I hope you're getting this, Houston. We read you A-OK, -okay, Copernicus. Good. Our scans indicate the Diablo asteroid is a mile long. Spectroanalysis confirms it's composed of 98% pure gold. You're looking good, Copernicus. All systems are go for touchdown. Copernicus, we have an unidentified craft on interception course with your space shuttle. Houston, it appears to be some sort of suborbital transport craft. It's moving in on us. Houston, Houston, it's got us. <laughs> Excellent piloting our job. Now, activate the electronic countermeasures. It's time we disappear. Operation Skyhammer is about to begin! <laughs> it, it's gone. We've lost Copernicus. job to do while he rescues the girl james bond jr chases go around the world and here to comment on the brilliant success of the copernicus mission is dr alonzo whitman say he's one of the judges who accepted my cosmic ray project the student space experiment program was an enormous success Horace Boothroyd of Warfield Academy is to be congratulated on his computer program for collecting data on cosmic rays. Well done, IQ. Ladies and gentlemen, there seems Quiet. to be a problem. Quiet, listen. I've just received word from Mission Control. Space Shuttle Copernicus has been hijacked in mid-air. How's your search coming, IQ? If I can get this computer to interface with my cosmic ray experiment computer on the space shuttle, I might be able to home in on the shuttle's location. Uh, here goes. It worked! The transmission is coming from somewhere in Iceland, of all places. We'd better get this information to the authorities. As you can see, Captain Pallas, Goldfinger is a genius. He has harnessed the power of the Earth itself. These pipes carry molten lava, providing heat, light, and power. Oh, it's very impressive, but I still don't understand what he wants with us. With you, nothing. It's your spaceship he's after. Welcome to my island, Captain Palace. You'll never get away with this, Goldfinger! Move! How many times have I heard that before? <laughs> Lock them up, our job. I said no unauthorized personnel admitted. That means you, kid. But you don't understand. I've got to see the base commander. We know where the missing space shuttle is. Oh, sure you do. us out without even a chance to explain. Obviously, it's up to us to track down the shuttle. Oh, going tracking, are we? Oh, Iceland! It just sends chills down my spine. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to Iceland. Just wait till I tell Mr. Milbanks about this. Luckily, uh, I've come up with something no self-respecting traveler should be without. A flashlight! Whoa! Actually, Gordo, I call this creation a flashlight. Watch! Epic idea, my man! You know, you could use it to precision slice pizza in the dark. Well, it's time to go and face the music. I think I have an idea. Uh, smartly now, uh, step lively. Remember, we are representing Warfield at the Marching Band Festival, and I want each and every one of you to shine. Mr. Mitchell? Uh, uh, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, Trevor, what now? It's about James and those friends of his. They're planning an unauthorized trip to Iceland. 
Oh, uh, why don't we discuss this while you help me roll up the gym mats, Trevor? All right, everyone, attention! Let's have a little leaving Warfield music practice. Sooner or later, they'll make a mistake. Just be ready and... What's that sound? What in the name of Jupiter is that? <laughs> that, my dear Captain Palace, is Skyhammer. What's this all about, Goldfinger? It's all about this, dear Captain. Gold. And sadly, the world's supply is limited, which means the amount of gold I can possess is also limited. I hate limits. Skyhammer is a tractor beam of immense power. The coordinates of the Diablo asteroid have been fed into its guidance system. Coordinates provided by the computers aboard your space shuttle. As we speak, the magnetic pulse tractor beam is locking onto the asteroid. Within 24 hours, 10,000 tons of pure gold will hit the Earth. My army of miners and engineers will descend on the impact point to recover every last carrot. You're mad, Goldfinger. If that asteroid hits, it could wipe out a 10 square mile area. Precisely. <laughs> What do you think of Iceland, Gordo? Well, not much so far. Uh, where's all the ice? Oh, yeah, there, there he is. Hey, what's the scoop? Welcome to the splendid city of Reykjavik. Thanks. It's uh, uh, excellent to be here. They must have mistaken Gordo for someone important. My name is Kirsten Gudmudsen, and I represent the Icelandic Tourist Board. Oh, well, I'm Gordo Leiter. I congratulate you on being the millionth visitor to our beautiful country. Prepare to have the time of your life as our honored guest. Whoa, I can get behind that. Oh, wait, we're with him. Yeah, don't we get to go too? Oh, just what I like, an inconspicuous entrance. Let's see if I can get a more accurate fix on the shuttle's location. So, we have an intruder. Hmm, someone's triggered the cosmic ray data package on the shuttle. They're trying to get a fix on our position. Whoever it is, they are in Iceland. This tracker is now locked onto their computer. Take the hydrofoil, find them. Got it! The signal is coming from this small volcanic island off the coast. Then let's find a boat. Hey! I'm a celebrity! Eat your heart out! Well, at least it hasn't gone to his head. Subject, James Bond, Jr. Item, James Bond has not been seen at Warfield for exactly six hours and 11 minutes. Question, where the dickens is he? What? There they are. And in Iceland today, the city of Reykjavik welcomed its one millionth visitor. Wait, not so fast. I've got to get this on tape. Mr. Gordo Leiter and his friends will see the sights of one of the most northern capitals in the world. I've got you at last, James Bond Jr. <laughs> You're not hide from our job. <laughs> Controls on these things. Gotcha. You poor little fish. I 
think I'll throw you back. No! I think you've got a baby whale back there. Oh, that was a close call. What uh, happened to Odd John? He left. I think he smelled something fishy. You want me to drink it? So, <laughs> like, you're putting me on, right? Oh, I am not putting you off. Cod liver oil is a favorite of Icelanders. Try it. Sure, Gordo. Try it. Uh, this celebrity thing is wearing a bit thin, you know? It is good for the arteries, you know. There's the island. Pleasant looking spot, isn't it? What is that? A laser blast. Hang on. IQ, we could do with a bit of fire control. And if the flames hit them fuel drops, we're sunk. Way ahead of you, IQ. in Iceland. I've got the proof, Mr. Mitchell. It's all right here in living color. Bond is in Iceland. Trevor, you can't be serious. I'm always serious. And when Mr. Milbank sees this evidence, Bond is sure to get the boot from Warfield. In that case, maybe I'd better hold on to it till Mr. Milbanks gets back. This island than meets the eye. Let's see where this takes us. Uh, are you sure we should be riding into the uh, lion's den, James? It beats walking into one. We're trapped. Then again, walking is better for your health. Welcome, my young friend. This is the end of the line. Oh, I didn't think it was Victoria Station. Uh, James, that's some sort of tractor beam. Yes, the Sky Hammer, presently locked in on the Diablo asteroid. Aja, give these young gentlemen a warm Icelandic welcome. And I don't mean a smorgasbord. <laughs> I call this Young Faithful. It erupts quite regularly with amazing force at a temperature in the region of 2,000 degrees. Well, I'd love to stay and watch the climate, but with my golden asteroid hitting the Earth in less than four hours, well, you understand. You know, IQ, it's not the heat I mind. It's the humidity. The underground volcano is going to erupt at any moment. It's now or never, IQ. Oh! Oh! You know that hurt. At least we're just shaken, not stir-fried. Let's see how your flashlight works on breaking down cell structure. Enjoying this? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, can't you tell? Where are you going? Haven't you heard? It's all over when the fat lady sings. Goldfinger has tapped into a dormant volcano beneath the island. This whole operation must run on geothermal power. What would happen if we closed down these valves? Oh, simple. The volcanic pressure would build to dangerous levels, followed by a devastating explosion. 
That sounds like my kind of fun.
of our fishing fleet. It is one of the finest in the world. Whoa! James, are you all right? Oh, fine. I'd like to introduce you to the crew of the shuttle Copernicus. Hey, what happened out there? We ran into Goldfinger, but he turned out to be all thumbs. Now that we're all here, Noseworthy, what is it you wish to show us? Sir, I have here the videotape proof that Bond and his friends were in Iceland. Without permission, I might add. Uh-oh. Iceland? Looks like Africa to me. Someone must have switched tapes. Why, Trevor, who would ever do a thing like that? Noseworthy, I do not find your little pranks amusing. You're in detention hall for the remainder of the term. But, sir, Trevor, you look dreadful. Take a swig of this Icelandic potion. Iceland? Drink up. It's good for you. Ooh. <coughs> <coughs> Well, looks like cod liver oil is not on Trevor's top ten taste treats. Oh, I don't know. That shade of green looks rather nice on him. <laughs>